traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, Jim Bartleone will be our guest at the break from Bart's charts. I want you to see the 382 retracement since yesterday uh, in the Dow Jones. You'll see there's your first one, there's your second one, there's your third one. Just an absolute explosive move to the upside. And folks, believe it or not, I was short during part of that time. I gave back some of that money that we made. We made over 3500 on that down move the last couple of days uh, from Sunday through Monday. Uh, unfortunately, we gave some of it back today, but we got it back uh, in gold uh, by quite a bit. We picked up 3200 in gold the last couple of days, and then also uh, we gave some of that back also in the crude oil, and crude oil is continuing to make new highs today. So uh, that one was certainly an example of when these patterns fail, just get out of Dodds because they just don't work. Let's take a look at a couple other 382 patterns that were really quite interesting last night, and they worked very well. This one, next one we're going to see here is the 30-year Treasury bond. We trade that quite often. We haven't in quite a while, but today you'll see that we had an absolute perfect 382 retracement of the high from way back here. We dropped to almost $800 uh, to the downside. We rallied back a little bit, but this had $800 in it, which happened to be, again, the exact 382 also. So when you get these strong trending markets, uh, pay attention to that 382, folks, because it can really be very, very interesting. Now, I want to share with you uh, a couple of other charts that, that I think are, are pretty important. Uh, in fact, very important. I want to get this up here. The first one we're going to take a look at here is the uh, E-mini S&P. And uh, this is uh, one we were, this was our target for today. We'll get this up here. You'll see this, this, this market is uh, much, much weaker. Actually, it's made the same percentage retracement. It's made the 78% retracement of the high that we made uh, last Monday, uh, last Friday. But uh, you'll notice it had a beautiful, uh, there was another 382 this morning. You see that? It has a run up, pulls back to the 382, and then boom, up into the area. There should be a lot of resistance up here at uh, 462. Um, that's a very, very important one to pay attention to. I'll bring to your attention the, uh, I want to bring up the cash to show you what the cash market's doing because it gives you a pretty good idea. I know I've got it here. What did I do with it? Well, I know I have the cash, but what did I do with it? I don't know if I put it here or not. And here it is. Billy Ray is in the game today. Hold on one second here. And there's the S&P cash doing the same thing. Uh, this is pretty much up to date. We just got up to the 78% level right here. These moves are very, very similar. In fact, they are equal. You'll notice that we have a 78% retracement there, a 78% retracement there. So any move above this tells us that we're off to the races. Anything above 44 uh, 70 in the S&P would tell us that this thing is going to go a whole lot higher and you just can't be uh, bearish uh, right now. Maybe later, but not today because, you know, you're two hours, well, you got three hours of trading to go and yet the market is still going very, very strong. Uh, we have a, we don't want to talk about the Japanese yen, but I don't want to take anything away from Jim Bartolioni, who will be our guest. He did some great stuff on this. We've been following it for a long time, watching some of the things that he's uh posted for us but uh, this I'll give you a heads up because his is going to look a little different because he does a lot of harmonics I'm a simple ABC guy but you'll notice all of the ABCD patterns that are in here and you'll be able to see that's what's happening here that they're they're still acting uh, relatively well here and but he'll give us some really good things long-term stuff too folks which is something that you know you'd like to see now I, I understand I want to share with you something here about the open interest here uh, in the gold market folks because we've had a huge jump here in, in a very unusual time frame 
we're just in the middle of July, okay? And yet, if you look here, you'll notice that the big drop in the August open interest right here, that's been the lead. Now, look what's happened to the December. You see how the December has picked it up? That mean, And the open interest increase on that, which is actually relatively, well, it is bullish. So you've got more players come in as the market goes up, and so that's why you have to watch that. So the, the lead contract pretty soon is going to be, it'll roll over a couple of days here probably. We're going to be rolling over to the December faster than we ever have. But right now, the August is still in play. But what you want to watch is watch that total open interest because if the total open interest dropped and prices went up, that means that that market is getting ready to go down because it doesn't have buyers. It has short covers. And when those people stop covering their shorts, the market has the only way to go, and that is down. Okay, now, um, we've had big runs here uh, in the uh, crude oil today. I just wanted to show you how, how, how I handled it. This is the kind of trade that I look at, so um, we'll be able to see it here re relatively easily. Uh, I didn't try to pick a top in the, in the crude oil. I saw it going up there. I said, well, it's way above where I thought it was going to go. So all I started doing is watching it on a you know four-minute chart so I can see if I can find a pattern. And, and look at this. There's a beautiful head and shoulders pattern. Uh, right here, it starts with a $200 profit. It got down a little bit lower. I put my stop at break even, and of course, it's gone up. And now, what it's doing is it's making a three drive to a top pattern. But, uh, folks, so this thing is taking off. Uh, you know, we had that eight day up room move that uh, just didn't get it, and then it just kept going farther and farther. When these trades don't work, Boy, look for a place to go the other way because, my goodness, they really give you some great opportunities because you're trading with the stronger trend and uh, you have to buy breakouts. But, you know, you can still do that by, by, by placing a stop in. You know, that's the, the real key to, to what, we're trying to, uh, what we're trying to do here, okay? All righty. Now, I wanted to show you here on the S&P here. I just wanted to show you the S&P from a standpoint of ABCD and also the 78% retracement. You'll be able to get that up here in just a second. We'll get this up here to see it. And uh, there you are right up in here. There was our high was at 65. We backed off to uh, 52, which that's nothing in the S&P anymore. But uh, anything closing above uh, 44, uh, 70 uh, will tell us that we're probably going to go uh, substantially higher. Uh, doesn't make any difference why. And it just it is going higher. I mean, it had some nice things to tell us it was going to go down. Everything was lined up the way that it should have been, but it just didn't move the way I wanted. I think the easiest way to look at that is the oh dear, I don't have it. I put so many charts out here, folks, to try to show you what I'm looking at that it uh, gets a little bit cumbersome here. But I think this is it. No, I don't think so. No, that just shows you the cash. I just uh, see what's going on here. All right, let's move over, and we're going to talk a little bit here about the uh, the German DAX because we've had a big move here, beautiful ABCD to the down move here on the German DAX, and here's where we're setting right now. We went all the way down, made a new low here, as you can see. Look at that ABCD, folks. It's just absolutely perfect symmetry, time and price coming together, and it's probably the reason why we're rallying today. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I posted some of the articles that uh, John, uh, John Jameson's been writing for us uh, here for the past uh, four and a half years, and uh, actually four years. But uh, John is a very unusual person. I met him 20 years ago. Uh, he, he sees things different. He works with counterfactual thinking. In other words, you have to look at something and go behind what it appears in the news. I mean, what's in the news is usually not what's being reported. I mean, they're telling you something different. But he also looks at how to under. He looks at how to find uh, undervalued assets. He knows how to find those just incredibly well. I've watched him do it. I, I have not seen a situation where he has done something wrong. Uh, his timing might have been off a little bit, but he doesn't use timing because he looks at something that says this is going to go to this level because of this, and that's why it works. Now, you could help me. Uh, if you'll send me, send me some information on feedback, either good or bad, you know, because uh, I'd like to get uh, you know, a better idea how we can help folks here make some money, but just send it to uh, Larry Pessiv. Uh, let's send it to Larry at tradingtutor.com. Anything that you have, good or bad, and I will forward it on to uh, uh, to John, and so uh, you know he can make some. I don't. He's not going to make any adjustments, folks, because he's got it figured out. Just to give you an example, uh, we did our first uh, day trading thing. Oh, about three years ago, and on that day, uh, Cardano ADA was trading at six cents, and it was setting at a Fibonacci uh, level at six cents. Okay, I mean it bid at a penny. And so, and I, I just, and John said, I'm buying that. And so I looked at it and it was a 61% retracement, a six cent stock. In my life, I have never bought, and I haven't bought, I didn't buy it. But uh, I watched it go from six cents to $3. And he bought it at three cents. He added to it at six and a few, few places on the way up. But uh, he, made a, he made a return that uh, uh, in, a, in a period of nine months, I, I, it was some percentage, so many zeros on the percentage that it was, uh, Unbelievable. He got out at just under three dollars. The high on the thing was uh, three uh, sixteen, and it went all the way back to uh, I think it hit eighteen cents a little while ago. And, and he didn't. It's hard to short those, I guess. I don't know, but he just sees things differently. And uh, I talked to him. I'm not joking, you folks. An hour a day, every day, except Saturday and Sunday when it's two hours a day. And it's very enjoyable. It's one of the reasons why my trading has improved quite a bit. Uh, he basically, you know, uh, put the floor trader's handbook together 
and uh, we've seen the advantage of the 3A2 that we got from uh, Tom Hugard, but uh, he understands short-term trading. He's not a short-term trading. He looks at the big picture, folks. When he goes out to look at the rainbow, he's looking at it from a far, far away. He, he's looking at what's really there and why things move. And uh, that's why it's good to have someone like that in our corner. And it's so fun. So try to, if you got some information that you'd like to share, and if you don't, that's not a big deal either. Nothing's going to change. But he's one smart cookie, and uh, we should take advantage of him because uh, I've not met anybody like him, and I've, I've met a lot of people, okay? <laughs> so let's move on here and take a look at a couple others here. Now, I want to uh, bring this one up here. I think, uh, where is that other chart? I've got so many. Oh, here's the one. Here's the one I wanted to show you. This is the one that made it go. Okay, here's the, here's the, 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 the losing trade in the crude oil. Okay, didn't do anything wrong here. It just said it didn't work. I mean, it was set up just as perfect as it could be. Seven days up, seven days up. Uh, we ended up losing uh, 70 pips on one, 30 pips on another, uh, 40 pips on another. So we lost 110. We lost 1,100 in that. But we picked up uh, over three grand in the S and uh, in the Dow Jones the last couple of days. That's including the loss that we had today. And then we also picked up three grand in the gold, which is pretty good. We just got stopped out of our British pound trade. Uh, we had bought it. Uh, I'll put that chart up to show you uh, what we're looking at here because it just didn't move much. And so what we did, we sold it right on the high because it was sitting there at a perfect number and uh, beautiful A, B, C, D, everything else going in our favor. So we'll get up here to take a quick look at it and you'll see there's where we were. And uh, it backed off with just about $200. And what we do, just put our stop at break even and went back up there again. So it's probably going to go a little higher. Uh, we sold it at uh, 129.31. Uh, and then we got stopped out at 129.30. It got down to 128.85. It's not, not much of a move, but it could have been. You don't know. It could have been just like this one. But not to be said. That's when these patterns don't work. Get out of Dodge. You know, there's no reason to to stand in front of them. There really isn't. You just can't uh, You just can't really do it. So a main thing is to pay attention to what's going on in some of these markets. I noticed today, I never follow the fundamentals, but I saw that John Williams, one of my favorite Fed people, he's the smartest guy in that Fed group of anybody I've met, including the chairman. He's been around a lot, and he said today that he can see no recession in sight. And uh, he's the first one of the 12 that is... Uh, I think it's 12 of them. Anyway, that he's the first one that, that actually came out and said that. They're still talking about the higher interest rates, and we can see that in the bond market. It's kept breaking and breaking. We've rallied here for the last day or two to a 382 retracement, but it's still you know, very, very meager in here to uh, what we're seeing. Okay, so let's, uh, let's remind ourselves uh, of that. Uh, regarding, we also had a nice trade in the corn market. I wanted to show you this is the kind that, it lined up just absolutely beautiful. Uh, it hasn't made much money. It's only made a hundred and some dollars, but it's a risk-free trade now. And I want to get up here to show you. Uh, and I got these out long before. They had plenty of time, you know, to get in it. You know, by the time you got the video, you had been able to see it. We've got down to here, rallied a little bit. We're trading down about uh, two hundred dollars on that trade. Uh, to the good side. We had a chance to sell the soybeans, but that was a little riskier. And uh, it's actually made a little bit more money, but it was a little riskier. So I selected the corn for two reasons. One, the corn is in a proverbial bear market. And proverbial means this summer gun has been going down because we had a high up there. Remember, at 630, we're now trading at $5, a buck 30 in corn in the middle of the growing season. Boy, they better have some really good weather because if they don't, it's unbelievable. Folks, we're in a drought here like there's never seen before in uh, in Tucson. In the mornings, the javelinas come down from the mountains. We're at the foot of the mountains, and they come down, and they run in packs of uh, anywhere from 8 to 20, and they go through the neighborhood looking for anything. I, my goodness, uh, one of the neighbors got his uh, trash can knocked over, and they took everything, the tin cans, the plastic stuff, everything was gone. And uh, it, it's really amazing. They're scary-looking critters. 
They won't bother you unless you get around their young or try to take some food away from them, and then you don't want to have anything to do with them. But they'll just walk right around you. If you can stand the smell, <laughs> you can understand where they come from. But uh, they are very, very big. They weigh, the big ones weigh about 200 pounds, and little ones are the little babies are kind of cute, but uh, they grew up to be pretty big. But anyway, that's what we're watching here today. No javelinas this morning. It was yesterday. So today is going to be a day of 104. No rain in sight yet. We're five weeks into the monsoon season. That hasn't happened since 1895. Boy, that's going to affect the soybean and corn crop here in uh, Tucson, except that we don't have any. We have muscal, and uh, that's about it. Oh, they do so, they grow some corn, but that's up in, the, up, up, up in the mountains. All right, we're going to take a break here, and when we come back, we are going to have Jim Bartoleone as our guest. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Jimmy. It must be you, 7-Eleven, the crap table guy. Happy birthday, buddy. That's right. That's right, Larry. In fact, uh, I get a free Slurpee for life, but then my kids said everybody does on 7-Eleven. So that really didn't happen. But I'm going to get a Slurpee today. Us you cancers got to stick that together, that everybody Larry. that's born on 7-Eleven gets a free Slurpee on their birthday? Well, 
everybody gets a free Slurpee, but I always thought it was people who were born on 7-Eleven. So my daughters, they kind of were like, no, dad, everybody does. But so it's my kind of gift. But <laughs> I'm going to get a Slurpee today. <laughs> well, I didn't know you even drank those kind of things. So anyway, good luck. I hope it uh, treats you well. Anyway, thank tell you, us sir. what you're looking at. Hey, by the way, thank you for uh, alerting to us on this Japanese yen. That's been a real monster. So why don't you show oh, us boy, what you're looking at? I know, at, uh, yeah. So, um, and, and just want to make sure you can see the charts and everything, right, Larry? I think so. That's what they're telling me, that everything's good. Oh, so. All right, great. Yeah, so um, obviously taking a look at the uh, – at the dollar versus the yen, I think this is a big one. Uh, quite frankly, um, as you're looking here, we're you know the top was about 145. Larry, shoot, this thing could go 2,000 pips at a minimum, right? So uh, if you're not um, short um, dollar versus the yen, I, I would look at getting it. Um, you can see here, I, I came down to a daily here. I was I actually had an entry order waiting um, on spot FX uh, at the 786. We had a 1.618 on top of it. Man, I thought it was golden. I really did. And then uh, it went up to the 707. It never hit it. Like you told me, you always want to be aware of where those old, if you will, ABCDs are. If you look at that old Gartley, it was almost perfect in price and time. I was pretty surprised that that one didn't work. I got stopped out there. But then uh, I, I didn't get a 786. So what I actually did is I went to an ETF called YCL. And look at this one. So this is actually a log scale, right? Um, and it's an A, B, C, D in percentage terms. And so once I saw that, I just don't think it's going to go back up to that 786. I think the, you know it's already down, what, 400 pips? So yeah. I went along uh, YCL. And if you look at it, you really only have about $2 of risk. And I mean, yeah, we're gonna have an ABCD there about 40 bucks, but I could see this thing cruising all the way up to $50. So, I mean, honestly, we're looking at almost like at a 10 to one bet right now, Larry. So uh, I think our big trade is gonna be um, going uh, long long the end versus the dollar right now. So so that's a good one. Hopefully, hopefully we're all getting in on that one. Um, this E-mini, I, I know you've probably sent it out, I've been seeing it, but I think this is the level, right? I mean. If we're going to keep going higher, it's got to defeat that level right there. It's a perfect ABCD. I was unfortunate, though. It kind of topped out. It didn't hit the uh, the price exactly. But, man, the, the time was perfect for that most recent high. So I think that 786 ABCD, and then you can see it was the measured move. So I think we're getting really, really close to find out if we're doing going down another leg or if we're just going to keep on going up a wall of worry, right? So I thought that one was interesting. Well, it's been doing um, that for quite a while. We haven't. They yeah, talked about a recession for two years now. I haven't quick. seen there, any. Um, I'm sorry, I stepped on you. What'd you say? Let me turn you. No, off. I said I haven't seen any news of a recession, in, at least from Tucson, and Arizona, and I don't think anything in San Diego is like that either. Uh, no, but, it's uh, crazy expense. Yeah. So, um, but here's another one, right? The banks lead us up. The banks lead us down. Um, this is just an hourly short. There's a Gartley sale on the KRE, right? So yep. we're getting really close. Um, I, I mean, the, I'm watching the banks like like we all are. So keep an eye on that one. I mean, KREs are short right now. I'd, I'd stop out above 43 or, or if you can handle it, up above 44 in that 786. But that's a really important pattern for us. The other thing I wanted to show people, we've talked about this one before. We're going to talk about it real, you know, real quickly. Um, from 19, basically 1941 to 1981, um, real, the uh, real uh, percentage change in interest rates was over 700%. We basically did that in about three years, and I don't think we're done, right? And so I, I went to a longer range chart. I could see the 10-year going all the way up to 6.3 to 6.66 in this run, right? Mm -hmm. So this is pretty... Uh, Pretty amazing if you think about the run we've had in interest rates. You can see here also on this monthly that we finished, you know, up at that most recent high, the last major move that happened back in about 1983 to 85. Um, I think we're going to go up a little bit more and then bonds will probably uh, bounce pretty nicely. Um, but I'm looking at that as a long term. And so I'm long TBT. I'm going to stay long. I don't see interest rates stopping at all. But think about that and the interest rates and the carry. Boy, um, this is this is not looking good, Larry. And then, like no, you taught me, I just used the, the measured move there, and I just did. You know, you can see the left 1.618 of that. Um, it takes us right up into that area. So keep an eye on that from an interest rate perspective. Um, and then, because it was my birthday, I thought I'd throw this one in here. Here is the mammoth ABCD on Nvidia 454, 453. Wouldn't it be great if that one works? 
<laughs> if people don't well, believe it yet, right? Well, we've uh, seen them before. But because it's my sure. birthday, Larry, I thought we'd have some fun. Um, Jimmy, so last night you have fun every just, day. So don't just because of your birthday, you have a birthday. That's a good point. But I thought I'd change it up a little bit. Yeah, last okay. night, Larry, I was just playing around. You see that purple line? It was the 2007 to 2009 crash. Mm -hmm. I just drew that purple line and I drew one circle and then all of the trend lines, all of the circles, the middles, the intersections, it, it was responsible for every high and low. Isn't that incredible? So, yeah. you know, I'm just trying to, you know, show our, you know, listeners, this is what we're doing, right? This is the harmonics of the market. It's, it's, it's really pretty amazing. You know, we had Andrew Lowe, right? Uh, he said that, you know, it's not necessarily a random walk down Wall Street. But then um, I printed out the Dow Jones Monthly, and I've been doing a lot of studying about Metatron's cube and how it's responsible for all of geometry in, in creation. And so I just did it real quick. I mean, it's rough, but I look again, from that one vector, every high and low, the trend lines, I mean, this stuff's real. These harmonics work. And every once in a while, I pull it out and I just say, OK, we got to go back and, and get back to the basics. So that's what I was doing here. But I just wanted to put this in there, Larry. We've got to start watching Robert Edward Grant. He is doing stuff that is mind blowing. And guess what? It's all around the ratios and the Great Pyramid. So who, who is this guy? Google, his name's Robert Edward Grant. It's at the bottom left. Okay. Um, the top left. He, he's got two videos right now, two out of five, uh, Giza, the Holy Grail of Geometry, part one and part two. And basically what he's proven is that the three pyramids were built at the same time. And they are also built with a very, very, very particular geometrical patterns to them, i.e. all the patterns and the ratios that we use. It's about a 10 minute, two 10 minute videos. It'll blow you away. The Robert top right, Edward that's Grant. Actually, is, that him? is that him in that middle picture there uh, at the dinner table? Yeah, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. In the middle, yeah, I think. Um, okay. Oh, God, I think I got it. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. The, I didn't mean to make any reference to you, my friend. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Larry, we're having a good time. I'm just. <laughs> no, like, not this... you. I'm talking about the guy in the middle. <laughs> yeah, he's not a bad dude either. Uh, thanks no, for the no, birthday. He's, certain, he's got a good sense of humor because um, he. He gave he gave birth to me, so I think that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, so both let of me us, have, right? Let me be born. <laughs> but, but Larry, look at the top right. That's Shakespeare's yeah. sonnet. The cover of Shakespeare's sonnet. Yeah. So this guy yeah. Alan Green, he found and he did all the geometry, all the geometry of the Great Pyramid and all the ratios we work we wow. work with are all embedded in the cover of yeah. the sonnets of Shakespeare. And so wow. on the Gaia channel, Shakespeare decoded all wow. of Shakespeare points to the Great Pyramid, Larry. It's incredible. Right. And then the bottom left, yeah. I know we all know that's the Last Supper painting. But yeah. again, on the Gaia channel, Robert Edward Grant, it's called Codex. That's actually the Great Pyramid, and it's King's Chamber. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. 
Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Folks, we're back with uh, Jim Bartoloni of Bart's Charts. Jim, uh, when you, I think you, I've given you the book before, Dimensions of Paradise by John Michelle, right? I don't think I've ever read that one. Uh -huh. Oh, you should. No. That that that's a real classic. And also, uh, Peter Tompkins' The uh, Secrets of the Great Pyramids. Both of those I've books. I've heard of that are, one. I haven't read that one. Yeah, yeah but the John Michelle book. I'll send it to you, Jim. I've got oh, a couple of okay. copies yeah, yeah. here. Okay. I'll send it to you, but uh, you know he did. He just died a couple of years ago. I met him in London, oh, seven eight years ago. But he he has really done a lot of this stuff. You know, I've I've been to see the pyramid, folks. I know those of you that have never been to the pyramid. Let me give you a rough idea. It's two and a half football fields wide, and it's fifty stories high. But if you ever want to see something that'll blow you away more than the pyramids, go down to Peru, to Sacsayhuaman, and to Machu Picchu, and that you won't believe. Because 12,000 feet up into the hills, uh, and these are not hills, these are the big mountains there in Peru, uh, stand these huge cities that have these giant blocks of stone, 50, 60 tons, that come from yeah. a quarry four and a half miles down into the valley. And, and it's straight down. I mean, there's no roads. How did that stuff get there and how was it built? That's beyond my comprehension. But boy, I've seen some crazy stuff. And also, if you ever get a chance to go to Angkor Wat in Cambodia, because that's just as mind-blowing as the, as the wow. pyramids. I mean, some of these – and Baalbuck in, in Lebanon. I mean, some of these things are just uh, – I, I just that that was on my those are my bucket list things. I always did those when I was younger, so that I could see what they look like. But the, you're right, yeah, the geometry my, in these. My things, bucket list is definitely the pyramid, uh, yeah. Larry. The, what Robert yeah. Edward Grant is doing, I mean, it, it's he is blowing it. Well, they know so little it. about it, you know. They still don't know what's on the inside of that thing, you know. Because that's, that's it's, right. Uh, that's right. But yeah. I mean, this Last Supper picture by Da Vinci, it's so right below Jesus, it, that's yeah. the esophagus of the king's chamber. This this mm -hmm. painting is actually. A, a encrypted yeah. painting of the king's chamber wow. of the Great Pyramid. It is mind blowing, and it, and he's blowing it all out. It's all coming out, and so I wanted wow. to give it to our listeners because the ratios that we use in the market, the vibrations, the patterns, it's all on this slide. <laughs> wow. So Andrew Lowe, if you yeah. really want, Andrew Lowe proved it right mathematically. Oh but yeah, if you he's, really want to know and understand yeah. why this stuff works. Take a look at those four, you know, pictures I have right there that you've yeah. taught me. It's incredible. It really yeah. is. And uh, I thought I'd share yeah. it on my birthday, right? Yeah, that's good. Well, if you ever get to Italy and go to see the Last Supper, you could stay in front of it for five minutes, but you can't take a picture. And that's including with your with your camera, with your your Apple or anything. They do do not allow oh, really? pictures okay. up there. Yeah, because they're afraid of it. things are good, Larry. How about yourself? All well? Yeah, I can't it's all figure good. out yeah. this market, but I think we'll know soon. <laughs> uh, buy, low, buy low, sell high in quantity. That's hey, the key. Okay, there it is. The secret to life. <laughs> hey, let's, let's have you on Thank again you in a couple of weeks. Larry, you're one of the greatest. Are you I going really surfing today? You're going surfing I did. today I with JJ? I was on the water at 6 in the morning. Oh, my God. Yep. I was trying I to it. I was trying to get the taco bill. We wouldn't open that early. Listen, brother, <laughs> you take it easy. We'll have you on in a couple of weeks, okay? You got it, Larry. Thank you. You bet, folks. Cheers. Jim Bartolioni, folks, of Bart's Charts.
Okay, we'll get back here and take a look at some of these things here. Uh, can you hear the theme going into the breaks? No, I didn't hear any theme going into the breaks at all. Did I miss that altogether? Oh, dear. I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't, but that's neither here nor there. Well, it's one of those days. What can you do? Okay, let's move on here. Let's take a quick – let me take a quick look to see what's happening with the markets here. Uh, we're still way up 200 points in the Dow Jones. S&P has come off the high a little bit. The 618 come in at uh, 44.62. We're now at 44.55. Um, the gold is trading at 19.37, right where we got out of it. We bought it at uh, uh, 19.22, uh, so we made 1,500 in that. That one worked pretty good. And uh, the corn's doing okay. It's got a little bit of profit in it, so that's all right. And uh, crude oil has uh, given us a good spanking this week. We lost 110 points in crude oil, which has only been the one that uh, banged us up a little bit. Other than that, they've been pretty good. We're having some really good, really good moves in some of these grains, folks. So we're watching like a hawk because, uh, you know, we had a heck of a run in soybeans, uh, but we missed the last buy last Sunday night. Uh, it didn't quite get to it, and I didn't chase it. Uh, wasn't much to chase because it went straight up. It had two, three, eight, two retracements on the way up, but it was in the middle of the night, and I wasn't there uh, for that uh, for that one. So that's pretty much what I'm paying attention to here today. Uh, let me see. I had one other one that I wanted to mention here before we got two other breaks coming up, or one other break coming up. Hold on one sec. Boy, the wow, the place the things goes really fast when you're uh, <laughs> when you're having fun. Okay, let's move up here and take a look here at the. Uh, the one I wanted to show you here is hold on one here. This is one of the reasons why I'm incredibly bullish the uh, metals. And I it hasn't moved very much yet. That's why I'm watching to see. It's moved a little bit. But this is the platinum. You see, we've been down here for almost two weeks now with this big ABCD. And if you measure the ABCD leg, it measures perfectly right here. We've taken out these lows over here. So that, where is it? Right here. We've taken out this low right here. And we're here now. I'm expecting one maybe little tiny lower low and then a pretty good pretty good retracement. I've done the time sequence. It should come out this week. So we're going to have a good idea if it's going to be coming at that time or not. But we'll have to, uh, have to wait and see. So that's the platinum. Keep a very close eye on that one. It's got a really good chance to do something. And then we also have another one here that's got a chance to go on the upside. It's already uh, started a little bit. That is here. Is this the Australian dollar? Uh, and you'll get moving right here. You'll be able to see what we have going here. It's uh, been a nice move here. We backed off, and now we're starting to move a little bit higher in the Canadian dollar. In fact, everything against the, even the Mexican peso, folks. The Mexican peso has been at 2021 20, forever, and now it's trading at 17. I'm 72 miles from the Mexican border. You think they would love the Mexican, uh, the U.S. dollar? They don't even care about anything anymore. It's all done on their telephones. People don't even carry cash anymore. And uh, they're going to have to learn how to do that because, uh, you know, it's hard to rob somebody with a cell phone because you can't get the money out of it. But to get into the pocket, that's pretty easy. Now, let's take a quick look here. Another one that's looking relatively good, and that is the silver market because we've been making higher bottoms through here. And this is a very positive sign. We've had another move to the upside here. We We've taken out these highs now, finally. We haven't quite got up to this level right here, but we're approaching it. So, But you can see this pattern right here is a perfectly symmetrical 1, 3, 5 pattern. There's your first ratio here right at your 61. There's your second one right at your 382 and 61% of that one. And that tells us that we're heading up to this level right here. We've take, This is an old chart. And we've taken out this high. We haven't quite reached this yet, but we're very, very close. So those are a couple that we're paying really close attention. By the way, tomorrow's guest will be uh, Paula Webb. And then on Wednesday, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. And on Friday, we got Norman, who calls it to the minute. Winsky will be our guest. And he's always got some good Astro stuff that uh, fits in uh, nicely with some of these things. So anyway, let's uh, move on to a couple other these things. Someone asked me, other, are there any other places that I've been to that were uh, spectacular? Uh, there's so many of them, but those were the main ones that, that were big. I, I, I've never been to a place like Easter Island. That's just too far out of the way. Uh, the reason why I went to Peru, it was, it was treated to a birthday present from Jay Cross. We went down there for two weeks looking at that stuff. And, man, it was wild. 
Okay, let's get take a break and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the S&P 500. It was predicted high of the day. Today was 44.62. We closed above 44.70, folks. This, this market's still incredibly bullish. Uh, should it uh, roll down and close a little bit lower, say below 44.40 or something like that, then that would tell us that, yes, this was a valid pattern, and it might be the eight. first. The reason why I was so bearish about it today was this ABCD pattern at 44.62 is the first a, B, C, D move to the upside since we made the high way back last uh, Friday, if you remember. And we broke uh, well over $4,000 in the Dow Jones during that time, of which we were able to capture a little over 3000 of it. We gave some of it back today, but we did make some on the way down. But anyway, this is a very, very important number. Anything closing above that 4470 tells us it's going to be going uh, a whole lot higher. But... That's a, neither here nor there right now. It's still a little bit early with two hours of trading left to go in the day. And usually the first hour, and the last hour, are some of the most important times of the day. So we'll pay very, very close attention to that. But uh, the Dow Jones has been the real monster today. Every little, if you don't believe in three, two patterns, folks, 
put a five minute chart up and take a look at the Dow Jones all day long. All the corrections have been exactly 382, including this last one that we had where it came down uh, 100 points off the high and then is uh, rallying back, uh, approaching to make new highs again. So those are the key things that uh, we're watching here uh, today. Tomorrow's guest will be Paula Webb, as I mentioned. Thursday's Jeff Huge. And on Friday, we're going to have Norm Winsky uh, as our guest. Try to do something nice for your neighbors, folks. And boy, we need rain out here pretty soon. I'm going to have to be doing uh, some uh, uh, rosaries just to get rain out here because we haven't had any rain like this. And it, see, we're in the middle of the monsoon season. It rains usually every day here. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.